What's up guys, and welcome to Friday Flights, Threadripper Update Edition. If you're one of my original 1,000 subscribers, first off, thank you very much. Secondly, you know that back in December I started building a Threadripper 1900X workstation with the intent of doing a full hardline custom water cooling loop with it. That is still the plan, but it's been kind of placed on hold, number one, availability of parts for that loop, and number two, uh, this has been my main video editing workstation for the last four months or so. Uh, the problem with doing a full custom loop on your editing rig is you can't afford any downtime. Now, the observant among you, although I don't know how you could miss any of this, will have noticed that I have two different sets of addressable LED fans running on my desk right now. Uh, the first set is the Inwin Aurora set that's in Threadripper right now. The other set is a set that I bought off Amazon uh, called LED Des, LED Des, LED Des, something, I don't know. Anyway, long and short is I've been searching for a set of fans that I can run in Threadripper that'll give me the look that I want. And neither of these are it. So in the case right now is the set from Inwin Aurora, like I said. You buy that with three fans and two LED strips plus the Inwin Aurora controller, and it's about $80 if I remember correctly for this set. Now, the problem with my case is I have seven 120 millimeter fan slots, and I want to utilize all of them. Um, the issue that I'm having with the Inwin Aurora fans is not that they don't look good. The problem is that if I back out a little bit here, do you see fan one and fan six in my loop? This only supports five fans in a loop before it starts repeating patterns with most of the patterns. It throws off the whole case visually, and if this is going to be a premier look what Jeff can build on craft computing, that's unacceptable. Now these Inwin Aurora fans, I like the fans themselves. I think they're plenty capable, they're nice and quiet, and they are PWM controllable. Everything in this loop is daisy chainable, which means I can plug in one fan to another without having to run a whole bunch of lines back to the controller. The downside is the LED strips have to be the last leg in the loop. My problem is that I have a seventh fan that needs to go right over here and I want to run an LED strip on this side of the case. The problem is I can't do that with this loop. So that brings me to this set. Now this set is from LED Des or LED Des or whatever the heck they want to be called. Um, they go by a bunch of different names on Amazon. You buy these in packs of three fans with two LED strips and a controller for $35. Pretty solid deal and pretty decent quality fans. The problem with these is the fans are not actually controllable. There's one speed on them and that's it. And they're actually a little bit louder than I would like them to be. Now they have a whole bunch of color modes on them. I can switch between a whole bunch of preset modes. The problem is they're not truly controllable. I can't say, oh, I want just a red loop to spin around. It's gotta do all this rainbow unicorn vomit stuff, which that's not the look I want. I want either a one tone or two tone look inside of the Threadripper case to reflect off the white that's inside of there, not this rainbow colored sprinkle effect that a lot of the LEDs give. The other problem with these fans is they're not very high pressure and along the top of my Threadripper case, I plan on running this Alpha Cool radiator uh, because it has one inlet on each side, which is exactly what I need for this loop layout. The problem is I'm not getting a whole bunch of airflow behind this radiator, so these fans aren't providing proper pressure to really force the air through there. So what this means is I'm still searching for fans that I can properly run my Threadripper system with. I need the looks and I need the performance and I need them to be scalable to up to seven fans with one or two LED strips on them. I haven't found that combination yet. Now these LED Des fans, I have decided I am gonna put them in a different build. I have a Corsair Crystal 280X that I think will be perfect for these because I can put six fans in there plus a couple of LED strips and really get some cool effects going on. So that build will actually be live this coming Tuesday. As far as the Inwin Aurora fans, I've also decided on a build that those can go in. Those are gonna go in my streaming computer rebuild once I get around to it. And that's gonna be inside of an Inwin 301 micro ATX case. So money wasn't lost, it's just, I'm still on the hunt for Threadripper fans. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments if you find anything that will actually meet the needs that I have for the system. The other thing I picked up was this custom sleeved cable set from EVGA, uh, white braided cables. And I think these are really gonna make this build pop. So that's just a quick update on where I'm at with this particular build. Uh, let me know down in the comments, what do you think of it so far? 
Starting this next week, I am gonna go ahead and tear all the air cooling stuff out of there. So the uh, Cooler Master 621P that I've been running for the last couple of weeks. Um, and I am gonna go ahead and put in my Swift Tech block. And I'm probably just gonna go with a soft tubing loop for now, just to get everything tested and make sure my water cooling gear is good. There's also a mod that I need to do on the case to actually mount the uh, reservoir and pump properly in there. Cause the built-in one in the 303 doesn't quite fit with my long graphics card. So that'll be coming up probably in the next week or two. Uh, let me know down in the comments, what do you think? And also, if you have any suggestions for fans, I am definitely looking, so please let me know. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, at Craft Computing. Also, if you saw anything in this video that you're interested in picking up for yourself, I will have Amazon affiliate links down in the video description. Don't forget to like this video and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my Threadripper build updates. Also, I've got a Ryzen 5 2600 and GTX 1060 6 gig build guide coming out this next Tuesday. Now the graphics cards are finally back at retail prices. You're not going to want to miss that one. As far as me, I'm going to go edit this video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.